Love is love. Praise the Lord! Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat at binabati ko ang bawat isa sa pangalan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Welcome po sa NCRD Section 3 Virtual Youth Conference Year 2020. Malungkot man na hindi tayo nagkasama-sama sa isang lugar upang dakilain at sambahin ng ating Panginoon. Pero salamat po sa biyaya at sa tulong ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na nagkaroon pa rin po tayo ng gawain ng Youth Conference na Section 3 Ito po live sa Facebook at salamat po sa tulong ng ating pong Section 3 Presbyter Pastor Rod Galime at ating din pong NCRD President Pastor Joey Ibanez at sa ating pong NCRD District Officials. Maraming salamat po at higit sa lahat sa ating Panginoon at sa lahat po ng young people at kabataan ng Section 3. At ako po ngayong gabi, ay malak ako po ay nagpapasalamat at isang malaking pribilehyo na tayo po ay binigyan ng kalakasan ng ating Panginoon at binigyan po ng panibagong uh, pag-asa na tayo po ay makabangon sa gitna po ng pandemya. Marami mang pong nagulat noong March 15 nung tayo po ay na-lockdown. Simula po noong March 15, marami po tayo higit sa lahat ang mga kabataan na apektuhan. Maraming mga plano, maraming mga, mga schedule, Maraming mga mga plans na na hindi natin inexpect na kapatid that this this pandemic will happen. But thanks be to our Lord Jesus Christ, kung ang plano man po natin ay nasira, ngunit ang plano ng Diyos ay kailan man walang demonyo, walang impierno, walang pandemic, walang problema na makakahadlang sa plano ng ating Panginoon at yun po ang magliktas sa atin pong lahat, lalo na sa mga kabataan. Ngayong gabi po ay isang malaking opportunity dahil available pa rin po ang kaligtasan ng Diyos. Dahil available, available pa rin po ang milagro ng Diyos. Dahil available pa rin po, mga kapatid, Amen, ang presensya ng ating dakilang Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen. Ang sabi po ng salita ng Diyos, may ilang mga talata lang po ako na nais nice ibahagi, mga kapatid, higit sa lahat sa mga Mga kabataan na may mga plano na akala po natin na wala ng pag-asa. Basahin po natin ito mga kapatid. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, Amen. Ang sabi po ng Jeremiah 29 verse 11 mga kapatid, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. That's why tonight, Ako po'y masaya mga kapatid na napalalhanan at higit sa lahat mapalalhanan din po lahat ng kabataan at lahat po ng nanonood ngayong gabi, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao and to all our brothers and sisters who are, who are also watching this tonight mga kapatid. I know you, we have disaster all around, all over the world. Kahit sa amang lugar tayo pumunta, may mga, mga, may mga gulo na nangyayari. Amen. But good news, hallelujah. Masira man lahat ng plano ng bawat isa. I know, may pinanghinaan na tayo ng loob, mga kapatid. But the Bible also reminds us tonight na wag po tayo masyado mag-alala. But it does not mean na hindi, tayo, hindi na tayo magpa-plano. It does not mean na wala na tayong gagawin plano, mga kapatid. But hold on! Amen! Meron mang times na dumating sa buhay natin, mawawalan tayo, na, tingin natin na wala ng pag-asa, mga kapatid. Guess what? The Bible declares... Amen, na matagal na po and already established and settled ang plano ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Yes, ikaw po tayo ngayong gabi. The Lord has a plan for us what to have a good. The Lord says they are plans for good and not for disaster. Hallelujah. And to give us a future and a hope. Hallelujah. That's why tonight, Amen. Let's hold on to the promise and let's hold on to that future and let's hold on, mga kapatid, to the promise and to the word of God. What we need to do is to, less, to listen, bawasan natin ang pakikinig sa sanlibutan and mas lalo pong ibalik natin ating toon at attention sa salita ng ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. Maybe the news 
ay maghatid sa atin ng negative, mag-update sa atin mga kapatid, ilan na ang namatay, hallelujah, ilan na nahawaan, but hold on to the word of God, hallelujah, because the Lord is faithful to His promise, amen, that in the last days, yes, we are the last days people, amen, we are still experiencing the great revival, hallelujah, the latter rain will be greater than the former rain, I still believe mga kapatid, that even this online situation ay makakaramdam pa rin tayo ng dakilang pagkilos ng ating Panginoon. Hallelujah! Dahil alam ko po, walang anumang bagay na ahad lang po sa dakilang plano ng Diyos sa bawat, bawat isa. Thank God that His presence are available. Thank God that His fire and the Holy Ghost that will keep us alive in these last days. Hallelujah! We need the revival once again. We need to be reminded by the words of God again. Hallelujah! Don't you worry! Don't be worried, mga kapatid! May plano ang Diyos sa bawat isa. Huwag ka masyado mag-alala habang tayo magpatuloy bumangon. Wow, ibalik muli ang ating pagpupuri. Ibalik muli ang ating hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pasasalamat at pagbibigay at suporta sa gawain ng ating Panginoon. Manumbalik tayo muli mga kapatid. And it's time for us to be alive and awakened tonight in these last days. Hallelujah. Na alam ko ang bawat isa na panghinaan na ng pananampalataya. Pero wag po tayong basta-basta magpa-apekto kung ano ang sinasabi ng balita at ng sanlibutan. Yes, totoo yan mga kapatid. They are not fake news. Amen. We are facing the reality. And this is not a fake news mga kapatid. But, but the good news, matagal na tayong binalaan at, sina, at, at, at nababasa natin sa Bible that in the last days, these things will happen. Perilous times will come. Hallelujah. Perilous times will come, mga kapatid. But this kind of pandemic, it, it's kind, it, it's it is a test for us, mga kapatid. It is a test for for the church. It is a test for our faith. It is a test, amen, for our obedience to the Lord. And it it it, it is a test for our characters, amen. Hallelujah. But ako po yung nagpapasalamat sa ating dakilang Panginoon, hallelujah, that even this pandemic, this online situations, mga kapatid, the good news is, the Lord are waiting, amen, those people who are still, amen, stand up and say, and praising God, and say hallelujah, say ha, praise the Lord, and and you know what, mga kapatid, if the enemy, our our enemy, our advers adversary is the devil, amen, it's like a roaring lion na nag-aantay sa atin kung kailan tayo manghina, but thank, thanks be to God, because the Lord, He has a plan for us. The Bible also reminds us, Amen. The Bible also reminds us, let's read, mga kapatid, in the book of Hebrews. Amen. Let's read and praise the Lord if the book of Jeremiah 29, 11 reminds us, Amen, for the plans to give us a future and, and hope. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is our blessed hope. Amen. And another scripture in the book of Hebrews, chapter number 6, verse 19, tells us, mga kapatid, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. Hallelujah. Kaya wala nang iba pang magandang gawin ngayong gabi, mga kapatid, kundi gisingin ang ating pong mga pananampalatayang natutulog. Oras na, mga kapatid, para tayo po, amen, bumalik ang ating tiwala at ating paglilingkod sa ating Panginoon. At higit sa lahat, wala nang iba pang matibay na sandigan kundi po ang ating dakilang Panginoon. He is the anchor for our soul and it is firm and secure. We are safe in the hands of God and we are not safe, amen, in the hands of the enemy. It's time for us to hear the word of God and less and not the world, amen. It's time to listen to the voice of God and not to the voice of the world, hallelujah. That's why ngayong gabi, mga kapatid, tayo po ay nabigyan ng palalhana na salita ng ating Diyos. Amen. Nang wala nang iba pang pinaka the best na gawin natin sa huling kapanahunan kundi magpatuloy. Huwag sumuko, bumangon. Hallelujah. Marami man tayong utang, nabaon man tayo sa problema, marami man plano man nasira, marami man broken relationship, but take note, mga kapatid, He is the God of a deliverer. He is the God of restoration. He is the God of revival, church. He is, he is the God of provision. He is the God of everything. And he is the omnipotent. He is omnip him omnipresent, and he is omniscient, mga kapatid. He is everywhere. Amen. He is listening, and he knows, and he sees our situation. Ang gawin lamang natin ay atay pero magtiwala muli sa ating panginoon. And let's hold on because Jesus Christ is our blessed hope in this last 
of the last days. Hallelujah. That's why another passage of scripture reminds us tonight, na pati, that I'm going to read before I close. Hallelujah. Bago po, bago po tayo magpatuloy sa ating gawain, may, may, may ikliang talata na huli na aking babasahin para po sa ating lahat. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Amen. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says in the book of Matthew, in the last page of Matthew, mga kapatid, I love this part. It's it's because talagang alam na ng Diyos kung ano mangyayari sa bawat isa sa atin. Hallelujah. Now, if, if we're going to read in the book of Matthew 28, verse 19 to, to 20, kumbaga napakagandang paalala sa bawat isa po sa atin na kahit na sinasabi ng lang kaaway kung ano po ang ating sitwasyon na kinakikita natin, amen. But if we try to use our spiritual eyesight, amen, that the enemy will try to block our vision. The enemy is try to dim us and to blind our vision, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. That's what the enemy do to us. Ginagawa ng kaaway sa atin, mga kapatid. That's why hindi nagsisinungaling ang sabi ng aklat ng Jeremiah 29.11 that the Lord has a plan for us. He has already a plan for you, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. But here comes the enemy, church. Amen. Because the Lord Jesus Christ is our future and our hope. He is our blessed hope and He is our anchor for our soul, mga kapatid. Ang gagawin ng kaaway ay ibablock ang ating vision. Mamarkahan tayo, mga kapatid. Amen. Na kung saan panghihinaan ang ating pong kalooban at ating nakikita at napapansin ay ang ating pong problema, ang ating pong sitwasyon sa ngayon. But take note, gusto ko pong palalanan ng bawat isa that we have the future, church. Yes, young people, you have the future and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because He is our blessed hope. Amen. Let's fix our eyes. Amen. To that blessed hope. Let's fix our faith to that blessed hope. Let's let's turn our eyes once again to, to Jesus Christ because He is our hope in our future. Now let's read, mga kapatid. This is the last, the last page. This is a strong declaration. In the last page of the, of the book of Matthew, the Bible says, and remember, everybody say remember. The Bible says, and remember that I am always with you until the end of time. Hear me, last days, of, last days church. Remember that I am always with you until the end of time. Hallelujah. It's like this, this declaration, it's like, no matter what happened into your life, no matter what happened into your church, no matter what happened, amen, to our situation. I know we have this kind of battle, but guess what? The battle is for the Lord, church. Amen. Because I still believe we are on the winning side. We are overcomer. We are the promise. Amen. We have the promise. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time to remind ourselves we are the children of God. Hallelujah. Wag natin masya. Alam ko na meron tayong mga problema na nakikita, mga patid. But it's time to use our faith and to see that blessed hope that someday Jesus Christ will come soon. Amen. It's time to be revived, to, to have, to feel the presence of of the Lord Jesus Christ, that even this online, I still believe that we can still feel the supernatural move of God. Hallelujah. It, I'm talking about the revival. I'm talking about the latter rain. I'm talking about the fire. Amen. That will help us, will comfort us, will teach us, and will give us power once again because it is the power and the Holy Ghost. That's why tonight, as we open our hearts in our in our mind, in our understanding, amen. And let's say, Lord, forgive me. Cleanse me, Father, in this last of the last days. I need your purity, Father God. Hallelujah. Let's ask the Lord one more time. Lord, fill me, Lord God. Revive me, Lord God. I need you, Father. Amen. And I believe, church, amen, that God will move in supernatural way, ma patid. He will give us once again. He will baptize us, amen, with the Holy Ghost and with fire, amen. Let's hold on to the word of God, church. At tayo po'y kumapit sa matibay na angkla at yan po ang ating dakilang Panginoon. Sapagkat kung ating Diyos ang matibay na angkla ngayong huling kapanahonan, walang problema na makakagiba nito. That's why let's hold on to the word because God has a plan for us. He is the blessed hope in our future and He's the anchor of our soul. Amen. That no enemy and no weapon that can defeat the plan of God. Amen. No pandemic, no any sickness that can defeat the plan of God into your life. That's why I'm happy tonight. Thank you so much.
as we continue, amen, to this service live, mga patid, as we welcome the Lord His presence, amen, as we can, as we celebrate tonight God's presence and expect miracles and the move of God, hallelujah, and thank you so much, and the Lord will bless us all, and to God be all the glory in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen and amen and amen.